Hey everyone, welcome to your weekly dose of Kicking It with Bougie Tea with myself, Tapelo Isao. And today we are going to be talking about. <laughs> We are going to be talking about crazy mucholo stories. So we are going to be covering um you know crazy stories about Mojolo Chronicles, you know, stories and things that people have gone through. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. I needed to catch my breath for this topic because I think it's pretty heated, it's funny, some things are just downright like crazy, you know, some people do the craziest things out here um, within their relationships and you know, I thought it would be an interesting topic um, to cover and I thought let's include our family, our community in this video. So I posted um, a story on my Instagram um, where people could tell me their experiences, you know, their crazy Mojolo experiences and stories and stuff. So there are a couple of voice notes as well as things that I'm going to read out. So DMs and stuff. So I think this is going to be very interesting. I think it's entertaining as well. All the people, just a disclaimer, all the people are going to be anonymous, you know, just for some discretion. This is all for fun and, you know, just... I don't know, I just want this to be a safe space for everyone to communicate whatever they want to communicate. So, let's make this a safe space. So, I'm just going to jump straight into it. Wait, I need to drink some water. Ooh. Mm. Hey, boo. <laughs> yeah, that's how anxious I am. <laughs> oh. Alright, so let's jump straight into it. I am going to begin with, um, hmm, let me see, let me see. All right, so the first one goes, Mama, so I met this, so I met this gent in Durban while he played for a very well-known team, um, well-known rugby team there. He asked me out and after four months of talking, we started dating. I'm from Durban, but I stay in Cape Town for school purposes, so it's a long-distance relationship. The way I was in love, I used to go home once every month so we can be together. I booked my own flights, by the way. Hmm. Everything was okay and I couldn't have suspected anything. So seven months into our relationship on his birthday weekend, I flew to Durban only for him not to answer my calls the whole weekend. <laughs> it starts. He called me on Monday and apologized with the weak ass excuse of how he was too drunk and he lost his phone. I believed him. Hmm. So I decided to pay for a weekend away for the two of us as a birthday gift. Cha, you've got money! I mean, okay, okay. Okay, but also, also, I do believe in effort. So, you know, if you've got the means to love someone the way you believe they want to be loved and, you know, just if you want to spoil someone that you love, do it, guys. Do it. Effort is extremely attractive. So I decided to pay for a weekend away for the two of us as a birthday gift, but I told him to take a friend there as I had tests and I was busy. Tapello, he sent me pictures and videos at the place, but all the pictures he sent was just him and he didn't show his friend, but I didn't give it much thought. It's my first time reading this, by the way. Two weeks after that, I received a DM from, from a ghost account. I received a DM from a ghost account. This hun sent me pictures of her and my ex at the place I booked for him and his friend and some pictures were too explicit. I forwarded the pictures to him and he said, you are sexy, you are beautiful, smart, but you love too much, so you overwhelm me! No! <laughs> no! I was hospitalized for two months straight, diagnosed with depression and anxiety. Abafana, yababonga. Wow. 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 I have no words. I have no words. It is disgusting. Imagine someone saying that you overwhelm them by showing them the amount of love that you have for them. Like, 
Nothing. Haki get, haki get. But no. Okay, here's another one. Did I tell you I once called my ex husband side chick and told her to Tlugana with Indo <laughs> Yeah, Dark times, but we are best friends now. Not. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, here's a question, guys. Here's a question. Would you ever, you know, go on to be friends with the person that your partner um, cheated on you with? Would you go on to be, well, clearly it's something that's possible and something that can be done. But, you know, I just want to hear from you guys. Would you ever be friends and like close friends, like good, good friends with somebody that your partner has cheated on you with. Like, what is your take on that? I don't know. Personally, like, I hand it to you. Honestly, you completely score because I don't know if I'd be able to. Yo, yeah, yeah. Tell me what you guys think. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think. Because who tell? All right, so here's another one. I received a nude from an ex while I was on, um, while, while I was with my then girlfriend. Yo, this girl liked sniffing around. While I was analyzing the nude, I was in an angle that she couldn't see the picture, I'm assuming. She just left the bedroom, went and boiled water. That time I'm thinking she's making us coffee. Oh, -ho. she poured boiling water on me. If it wasn't for the duvet, I don't know. I mean, why are you looking at girls' nudes? Like, uno muntuako. I understand who's a sharp box and they nude and maybe you didn't expect it, ne? But you see it and then you're like, okay, 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 okay. Let me close it and then tell me if you have to get now, Jesus Christ. If you have to go home and um, analyze the nude when you're not with your partner. So, like, you can't blame her. Okay, maybe Uktelang Amanza Shisa is a bit extreme, but. Could we see you go? But I mean. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on. Now we are analyzed. Like, I'd go crazy. Imagine busting my man analyzing a nude while I'm there. No, come on, come on, come on, Anonymous. Come on. Flub, man. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so here's another one. Hey, I hope you're good. This is my craziest Mjola story. I found the guy cheating with the same girl for the fourth time. He said the reason why he's cheating with her is because he's doing it for us. <laughs> oh wow, guys! Han cheating with oh, um, him cheating with that girl, which was his ex, was gonna strengthen our relationship. I was probably the side chick. I think you probably were. Wow, fourth time, and you were still there, and it was the same girl. You were definitely the side chick, Mdasi. I'm sorry. I'm sending you virtual Bluetooth hugs. That's just terrible. <laughs> oh, wow. So, here's another story. Girl, crazy part of it was when I met his mom. She told me he'd never brought a girl home, so he must have been serious. Ganti. There was like three of us, and she knew us all. <laughs> she knew us all. I don't know who dribbled me harder between me and his mom. Child, you know the song from um, High School Musical? We all in this together. They like this. Him and his mom. Mike dribbled your boy too. But the one who dribbled you harder was definitely the mom. Because she played you. But also, I understand, fine. you're not going to sell out your child, but that's a bit messed up. That's a bit messed up. But also, maybe now Oma was in a compromising position because, I mean, she's not going to be rude to you when you're there, right? But, yo, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I definitely think she dribbled you harder because mom is smooth. Oma is smooth. I hand it to her. Yo, I, I, yo, guys, yo, okay, okay. Like, I thought, you know, my stories were like bad and stuff, but Nyabonu is a, uh, mm-mm, mm-mm. When you're
<laughs> oh, the guy who said Kushe Ngafa is the guy that was analyzing the nude while his girlfriend was here. Hey, anyways, so here's another story. I met a gent, our thing was very casual, but we were um, into each other a lot. Spent 90% of our free time together. Weeks later, I discovered he was my classmate's man. And no, I didn't end our thing. Hmm started feeling um i started feeling so bad though because han would lie and say he was with him when i was actually with him Ooh, okay at some point i even helped her buy a birthday gift for him <sighs> eventually managed to end things but child the d kept me going back from time to time you know what they say about vendor men <laughs> hey hey but initially I didn't know he was her man, so I wasn't totally wrong, or was I? Well, initially, you weren't wrong. But, you know, as things went on between the two of you guys, and you obviously discovered that um, he had a girlfriend, and, you know, the girlfriend was actually your classmate, and you still continued with the relationship, then you were definitely wrong. Because... So... Yeah, yeah, but yeah, people do say, Wuti, you know, sometimes the D, I don't know anything about that, but I've heard that the D keeps you going back. So, but you were wrong, you were wrong, you were wrong. You know, just acknowledge it and forgive yourself. I hope she's forgiven you if she found out eventually and keep it moving, but you were wrong. Um, The next story is... Had a brain tumor scare and my granny passed away. Then the guy, then I told the guy and then he ghosted me. Oh, okay. Um, that's not nice. That is not nice. That's not nice. That's messed up. <clears throat> that's messed up. The next one is my so called man been saying, Oh, I'm gonna phone. So he called. Magase office in. Um, also, he'd call Magase office. It had been nine months. Angi igwa kefuti. Um, he likes it risky. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I need to, cause I feel like unfunda gabi. Okay, let's start from scratch because unfunda unfunda la gal. Unfunda unfunda la loko gal. My so-called man has been saying what's agana phone, so he'll call Magase office in. It's been nine months. He's like, it's risky for me. Yet, I've been doing it before. If I get to the office, I'm calling me because I'm used to it now. I'm used to it now. Crazy. That is crazy. Go back. Why? <clears throat> Why? Why am I going to call you? Um, if Niazwana, and why is it risky for you, Wuti? Um, <clears throat> why is it risky for you to go to his place if you guys are in a relationship? Ciao, he's seeing someone, it's as simple as that. He is seeing somebody, but you're used to it. I don't know if that's right, I don't know if it's okay for you to be used to it, but. Unless you're okay with the fact that, or the possibility that he, that he's seeing someone else, <clears throat> then uh, that's that's your prerogative. Someone said, or someone else said, he cheated. I cheated back because I was fed up. <clears throat> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. But cheating is bad. But I don't blame you, child. Okay. So this was first year, I dated this one girl for about four months but we broke up because um, she was going through a lot and she needed time off I guess. So anyway, after a month or two of waiting, I moved on and met a new girl. New girl has her own story. If I got into it, it'll be a lot but hi anyway. Um, I met her <clears throat> while she was in an ending relationship. So me and her started vibing but we were friends. Eventually we kissed but she was still dealing with a heartbreak. Or with the breakup. So when I asked to date her, she was like, no, but we were kind of friends with benefits for a while. Eventually, I got sick of it and moved on. Somewhere between all of this, my ex become, becomes friends with this other girl. <clears throat> After a while, I broke up with this other girl because she moved on. So now me and that second girl started vibing again, but this was after a year. Then we dated. 
So now remember her and my ex are friends and we all got invited to a chillers. This was after exams. Ah, everything was chilled and these girls disappeared. Okay. My ex, my friend's girl, and my girl. Now when they come back, they were acting weird and touchy and all that. At the time I didn't know it, but they were all kissing each other like um, my friend's girl told me. Uh, hey, wait, I need to understand this. This is a bit confusing, but I'm going to try to make you guys understand. My ex and my girl, uh, my friend's girl and my girl. Now, when they come back, they were acting weird and touchy and all that. At the time, I didn't know it, but they were all kissing each other like um, my friend's girl told me um, that when we left. Then when I asked her, she confirmed it. Like if I didn't love her, I would have been okay with it. But to me, it felt like she was cheating. It felt like, oh, it felt like she was cheating, which she was, and with my ex also. I have way more stories, but this one is the most interesting, I guess. Okay, they, it was a bit confusing there um, in the end, but what I'm getting here is that your ex and your friend's girl and your girl disappeared to go kiss and do whatever they were doing. <clears throat> and whatever, whatever it is cheating <clears throat> essentially excuse me guys i don't know what the hell's going on with my throat it's acting funny but yeah i mean she 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 was cheating but now what i'd like to know is that uh did you continue um with the relationship after this happened or what okay okay that's interesting Sure, I need to drink some water. Excuse me. <clears throat> Alright, so the last one that I am going to read or play, rather, okay, it's a voice note. <clears throat> so I'm going to play a voice note and yeah, let's all listen. Hey, Chomi. So um, one of my Mjolo story, well, it's not really crazy, but kind of sad. Um, I was dating this girl um, back in high school. Well, she wasn't the she wasn't in the same high school as me, yeah, well. So this one time it was Valentine's Day, yeah, well. So I got some nice things, some chocolate teddy bear, and all you know the works. So after school, I was going to buy the bus to the library. All right, okay, sure. Um, but before that. Oh, yeah, no, I met her. Yeah, yeah, actually, I met her. I mean, yeah, I was like 90, but I couldn't spend time, you know, because she had to rush somewhere. I forgot what was the story, but I remember that she had to rush. Later on the day, I get a text message from my, my cousin, you know, who goes in the same high school as her. She was like, hey, bruh, I need to tell you something, but I don't know how to tell you. I'm like, no, dish it out for me. I'd let me scream, man. We were still using my big baby. I'm a big baby. <laughs> Sorry, my voice not. Uh, Amelia I can't tell. So we're still using our paper at that time. So she screamed and uh, chats uh, via PBM that they were having and she sent them to me. So in the chats, um, she's confronting my girlfriend or uh, my ex. Yeah, well. Please you are cheating on him. If you don't tell him, I will. Okay, she eventually, after that, nah, that kind of gave me, like, I was kind of shocked. So I eventually get a text from my ex. I'm just to listen. I'm so sorry, but I've been um, cheating on you. I have another a boyfriend. So 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 the guy was actually kind of in that like an uh, older grade. Yeah, well, I think maybe we grade ten or something. Oh my gosh, this video ends. Is a cut kind of fourteen. <laughs> okay. So the guy was in like an older grade, I think. Yeah, well, so. That day, um, when I gave her the present, she was rushing to go um, be with the other guy. <laughs> like, I think she explained that. Yeah, I remember she explained the whole thing in this long text message. And she's like, Aww. really sorry. I was forgiven. Like, I was, um, I was really hurt. Like, what the fuck, you know? Oh, and I was getting emotional. Some people who kind of angry, but you know, not like. But I was really emotional. Yeah, well, and to them, I got played. <laughs> so I told her shit, like as in when they were like, "I want, I want, I want, I want, I want." Like I really told her off, but I felt so bad afterwards. You know, I felt so bad. Um, um, 
with the way I said it to her. I think I was too harsh, but I was hurt, man. But yeah, that's my crazy and trouble story. <laughs> Hectic! Uh, I know that he felt bad because he's a good person. He's genuinely, genuinely such a good person. And yeah, that's definitely why he felt bad. So I'm going to wrap this video up because I didn't want to make it too long. Thank you so much to all the people that shared their stories. I think we should do more things like these. I think we should do more videos like these where, you know, they're interactive, where people you know come with their stories situations and stuff then we share them on the platform then we can all interact in the comment section please comment in the comment section about what you thought about the video and you know if you want to give advice or whatever if you want to share your story still do that in the comment section or if you still want to send me dms do that maybe we'll do another one of these very soon i think we should do another one of these very soon so you know if you're interested send me a dm comment in the comment section send me a voice note sometimes it's nice to put a voice to you know um the story or whatever <clears throat> so do that thank you so much for sharing so much of yourselves with me i really do appreciate it i also just realized that my life is so so boring i don't think i've necessarily gone through um anything crazy like some of you guys have um i think the only thing that really i've gone through um or that i've experienced are the lies lies being lied to and you know immense heartbreak i think that's the most that i've experienced but mostly just the lies and even the lies weren't even that creative like guys can be stupid sometimes the lies weren't even that creative they're just like oh my gosh Really? Okay, oh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But nothing this crazy. So I found this very interesting to talk about. Um, and once again, thank you so much for sharing so much of yourselves with me. Um, yeah, I think we can all learn from things like these, even though, you know, they're meant for, I guess, fun bands or whatever when we're doing youtube videos and stuff but i think we can all learn from you know crazy experiences like these um so that we know what, what not to do and just overall be good people in relationships good partners and stuff because the last thing we want to go through is um go my relationship you know so let's learn to be good people let's learn to spread love let's learn to love one another love one another oh my gosh let's learn to love one another correctly the right way with integrity with dignity and most of all with respect because you know we go through the crazy mjola stories because of a lack of respect in relationships so let's just learn to respect each other love one another and 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 the list goes on and on and on and on and on but like i said um if you guys would like to see these kind of videos continue and if you guys would like to see me continue with these kind of videos um let me know and comment with your stories comment in the comment section like i said send me dms and voice notes and stuff sometimes it's nice to hear your voices once again thank you so much for watching and um please don't forget to like subscribe and comment in the comment section share with your friends and your friends friends and your friends 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 grandmothers grandfathers aunts, uncles, aunties, the cousins, whoever you want to share with, share this channel with them, you know, let's all have fun, let's all chat, we're kicking it with bougie tea, thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time with my next video, till then, bye!